Hey, can we get this locking flex head ratchet and bit set? We have a locking flex head ratchet and bit set at home. What the f is this? These little icon sets seem to be all the rage these days. Between them and the mini toolboxes, my garage is on its way to looking like a freaking crazy dollhouse display. I found this similar set in Walmart made by Hart for half the price of the icon and I'm going to test them both to see which one comes out on top. I'll be testing them on case design and quality, bit selection, bit quality, extension uses, various ratchet features, and the price. Each category winner will receive one point and the tool with the most points at the end is the winner. Let's go. For the case design and quality, Icon comes out on top by far. Some serious thought was put into the Icon case. It's compact enough to fit in your pocket when the only pocket the heart kit would fit in would be a cargo pocket. The Icon case has a rubberized overmolding and a spring-loaded latch compared to the heart, which is a rigid clamshell style plastic case with a sliding latch. I can definitely see the heart case breaking if it's dropped from any significant height at all. It's hard to explain, but when you hold the Icon set, it just feels like a quality product. As far as bit selection, the Icon and the heart contain the exact same quantity and types of bits, so they're tied at one point each. For the bit quality, I tested the hardness of the bits. I don't have a set of hardness files, so I used an adjustable center punch to try to make a mark on each bit. I progressively increased the strike force of the punch, but even at the heaviest setting, I couldn't make a significant dimple. Next, I took a file to the corner of each bit to see if I could tell which one was softer, but my tests were pretty much inconclusive. Each set includes a bit extension. The hard extension is 3 inches, while the Icon extension is 4. Both extensions have a rare earth magnet in the end to retain the bits. The extension on the Icon can be put into the end of the ratchet to give you an overall length of almost 8 inches which is incredibly long for a quarter inch ratchet. Both extensions can be used as a T-handle but there are some kind of major differences. When used as a T-handle on the Icon you lose the ratcheting feature unlike with the heart, although with the heart you're a bit offset. Although there's only two locking positions, the extension positions on the Icon are infinitely adjustable in between the two. I gotta give this point to Icon. For the ratchet test, I'm going to break up each test into a single point value starting with the length. The Icon ratchet measures 4 and 15 16 inches by itself and nearly 8 inches with the extension versus the heart which measures a little under 5 and a quarter inches. The versatility of the size options puts the Icon on top for me. Ratchet depth with the bit can be very important when trying to get into tight places. The Icon measures an inch and an eighth while the heart measures an inch and a half. Neither ratchet had any information about the tooth count, so I manually counted them both. The Icon ratchet has 60 teeth and the Heart ratchet has 72, which gives the Heart side a much needed point. Bit retention and release can honestly make or break a ratchet. The Heart uses a magnetic bit retention while the Icon uses a spring clip style. The Heart has a bit ejector button and the Icon has a concave back to allow you to push the bit out from behind. I gotta say that I'm not overly impressed with Heart's bit magnet. Unless you push decently hard on the bit to put it in, it's kind of easy to remove it. Because there's no locking groove on the heart bits, I thought that if I took one of the heart bits and tried to use it on the Icon ratchet, that it would pass right through, but it's not possible. Icon cleverly uses this little stop as a way to index the extension to have it either stop or pass through. One more point for Icon. Although both ratchets are new and might break in, the Icon has a much tighter flex head when you press the release button compared to the heart. A bit of resistance is good in my opinion, so the point goes to Icon. Ratchet hand feel is pretty subjective, and to be honest, there's things about both that I don't like. The heart ratchet is flat like a combination wrench would be, and for some reason that doesn't feel right for a ratchet. I'm trying to think if I had a set of wrenches that had the same profile as this heart ratchet, would I like them? I don't really know the answer to that. The Icon ratchet is a satin finish, which I do like, but the small diameter round grip is just that. It's small. It's a weird feeling by itself, but once I add the extension to the handle, all of that goes away, which is why I'm giving another point to Icon. Sorry, Heart. The direction selection lever is another thing that could ruin a ratchet if it's not done right. You need that Goldilocks formula of tight, but not too tight, and easy to change, but also not too easy. For this one, I have to give it to the Heart. 
The lever is a little bigger and it's a little taller than the icon and it feels like switching directions when in a tight spot would be easier. The final ratchet test is the extra features. The heart ratchet has a bottle opener on the handle and the icon ratchet has a thumb wheel on the back. If you're a beer drinker, just about anything could be a bottle opener so this point goes to icon. Last we have to talk about the elephant in the room and that's price. The icon is $39.99 and I picked up the heart for $20 marked down from the regular price of $27.88. If you can get the icon with a 20% off coupon that would put it much closer to the heart at only $31.99 but as it sits I have to give it to heart. Alright that puts the final tally at icon 9 and heart at 4. Now don't get me wrong I think the heart's a great set and more than capable of most things. If you just want a set to throw in your car or keep around the house, it's a great choice. But if this is something you plan on using a few times a week, keeping it in a gear bag, a range bag, or even having it as your everyday carry, I'd say go with the Icon and you'd be happy you did. Thanks for watching along with this comparison video. Let me know if you have any opinions on either of these tool sets or let me know what you'd like to see me compare in another video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. Keep grinding away on those projects, stay lucid, and I'll see you in the next one.